controversy over the non-auditing of the account of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, has heightened in recent times. The National Assembly has called series of public hearing and probe into the matter of the NNPC funds. Many have complained that since the corporation's funds are not audited, obviously it has become a drain pipe for many. And Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Dr. Ungozi okonjo Riela, recently recommended that external auditors be hired to audit the account of the NNPC. And apparently, buying to public pressure, President Jonathan have approved that the account of the NNPC be audited. The spokesman to the President, Dr. Ruben Abati, while tongue-lashing former CBN governor, disclosed that to newsmen. Relevant committees of the National Assembly are still investigating the claims and the suspended CBN governor remains free to give evidence before them in support of his allegations. Furthermore, in keeping with his avowed commitment to full transparency, openness and accountability in governmental affairs, the federal government has authorized the engagement of reputable international firms for the recommended forensic audit of NMPC accounts. Dr. Ruben Abati, however, did not stop there. He spent much time hitting hard at former CBN Governor Sanusi Lamido Sanusi, describing him as one who is currently feeding the public with series of lies. The presidency condemns Malam Sanusi's resort to playing politics with serious national issues. His suggestion that the phantom missing funds may have been diverted to fund campaigns for next year's general elections is mischievous irresponsible and designed to incite other political parties and members of the public against the federal government. The claim which amounts to cheap blackmail against the government and was clearly made in furtherance of a selfish personal agenda is most unbecoming of someone who still holds the high office of the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria. Obviously, Dr. Ruben Abati cannot stop the press conference without talking on the rumored resignation of Defense Minister Aliu Gusu. He explained that the minister did not resign as speculated in some online media. According to him, the minister was just absent at council. There was a report uh, by an, an online medium alleging that the uh, Minister of Defense Lieutenant General Ali Yuguso had resigned his appointment. Uh, this is to uh, let you know that that story is uh, untrue. General Guso remains in office as Minister of Defense. Uh, he was absent from uh, today's meeting of the Federal Executive Council, and this particular online medium cited that in support of his allegation that he had resigned. Well, he was absent from the meeting with the permission of President Jonathan. So the story is not true remains in office and he himself has already uh, dismissed the uh, story as untrue. But the point many financial experts may just be worried about is the hiring of the expert by federal government itself. Because for many, you cannot be in government and audit yourself. Let's just hope that it comes out all very transparent. From the Asura Presidential Villa, I am Ikharo Atta, ITV News Abuja.